All right, welcome to Star Trek Online. We are not going to play this character. I'm going to create a new one. Um, when I came on um, back when Aaron had passed away and we went to explore the station to see if there was anything there, um, I realized how little I remember playing this game. So uh, uh, it's extremely laggy right here. There's something wrong with the most recent update on my computer. And um, it is just very laggy. I mean, seriously, laggy. So I'm just going to let it take its time. <laughs> I'll skip through a little bit of this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new character to run through the tutorial for myself. And then I will, um, once I'm done with the new character, look at these people diligently typing away. I mean, that is their job. They never stop. It's like they're playing the piano. They're doing it in unison. Do, 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 do. Um, I'll play this character until I get caught up to where the other character is, and then I'll switch, maybe, or I'll just keep playing this one. It's totally, up, I guess, totally up to you guys, tactical officer, please. No, I actually clicked on tactical officer. Laggy pants. Just give it some time and watch the people tap in the background. Tap, 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 tap. There we go. And we wait some more. I'll fast forward through all of this, maybe come up with some... Uh, cute little fast forwarding music I don't know <laughs> or I'll just skip it hopefully it keeps recording oh all right appearance head well that one's not bad actually I'm not gonna push this um, too far along because uh, let's do that one I like that one. All right. Coloring. Hair color. Oh, my goodness gracious. Blue. Let's have blue hair. Why not, right? <laughs> oh, I could do purple like Ira. That would be cheating. All right, let's let's uh, let's go with something a little bit closer to my own hair. Right. It's a little on the red side. Yeah, we'll go with that. If I go back to the preset, oh wait, advanced. Ah, uh, head. Advanced. Let's see about the advanced head here. Oh, eye colors. I should have picked out my uh, proper eye color. I'll go back to that. Head type. He a human three. He looks a little skeptical. <laughs> he keeps glancing over to the side like, hmm, what's coming at me from behind? Face complexion. I think we'll leave it that color. Oh, eyes. Look, here you go. Kind of a hazel. Let's do hazel. Get him in there. Thank you. Tattoo. Uh, that's not helpful. Okay, so none. I would want the alliance on my side, but not there. Um, eyes humanoid, that's fine. Ears humanoid. Eyebrow standard, I'm okay with that, but let's put it more the skin color that I actually, I mean the skin color. The hair color that I actually picked. Um, I attach. No. Spiky bangs, that's fine. Hair shininess. What's the difference? <laughs> Do I want my hair to shine? I suppose I could have it shine a little bit less. <laughs> Overall head size, overall width. I'm okay with all of that. 
Yeah. Eye scaling options, nose scaling options. I'm really okay with all of this. I fixed that, so let's go to the body here. 6'2, that sounds right. Stance, twitchy. <laughs> Stern, swagger. I like the swagger. It's almost alien, the little twitch there. Thoughtful. Ah, yes, that's the one that I use on my other character. So that's the one that I'm going to do. Um, I'm not going to mess around with all of that. The uniform, though, I'm going to change because I prefer to work with the Terran Alliance. Let's see. Let's do this one. Wait a minute. There's an advanced option here. Ooh, where did the turquoise go? Terran colors. I want Terran colors. Oh, this might be the same color as it was before. <laughs> Material. Oh, you can take out the glossy. Yes, matte for sure. I don't want glossy. Matte. Definitely matte. Color configuration 01. 02. 03. Let's go with this. And let's make this that color. That's pretty Terran, I suppose. Now, what is this, and can it be the red? Oh, that must be the under the collar. Yeah, it is, under the collar. Yeah, OK, so we're not going with red. Command Insignia, Com Badge, Motion Picture Odyssey, Sciences, Next Generation Film. None. Perfect. I'm Terran, so I don't have a badge. Perfect. Lower body, uniform pants loose. I'm totally okay with that. Uh, feet, boot utility. Okay. I'm okay with the utility boots, that's fine. I'm okay with all of that. Belt. Picking a belt makes my character disappear. <laughs> uh, no, I don't want a belt. Okay. So here is my Terran uh, Okay. Next. Captain name. We'll go with Mir. Formal name. No. The ship. USS Niner. Right? Good enough. We'll just call it that. The Niner. All right, engage. There we go. Wow, 15 minutes of creating that character. Hopefully, hopefully I will speed it up. I'd like to play the tutorial. After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged the campaign of peace. Live long. 21 years ago, the star of the Hobus system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. The planets Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Countless billions were killed. My home, my friends, my life, all are memories. Time does not stop for one man, and neither does history. The chaos in Romulan space gave the Klingon Empire an opportunity to expand its territory. Today, 
Jim Park, the Chancellor of the High Council, traded diplomacy for the tip of a blade. Only in battle, Jim Park says, is a Klingon truly Klingon. The Federation did its utmost to preserve its alliance with the Klingons, but war was inevitable. Romulans want revenge for their lost world. The Dominion is rebuilding its forces. Now the Borg have reappeared, and the Alpha Quadrant balances on the edge of ruin. The fate of the galaxy rests in your hands. I'm very sorry to disappoint Leonard Nimoy, but, uh... Welcome to Star Trek Online. Today is graduation day, and you soon will be embarking on your training cruise, where the bulk of the ship is manned by cadets like yourself. This tutorial will introduce you to the basic controls of Star Trek Online, including movement, combat, and interacting with characters and objects. Think she wants me to come over to her much? People you can interact with have icons above their heads. You can press the interaction key, default F, to talk with them. Finally, I was beginning to think you forgot what today was. How could I? I've you've reminded me every day for the past month. Did you get your Of course, assignment? I was first in line. Oh, before I forget, I think Raski is just ahead. He wanted to thank you for helping him cram for the Astrometrics final. There you are! I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final, and for all the other times you've helped me. I've always admired you. I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. What ship did you get? haven't received my Good assignment luck. yet. Before you report to Lieutenant Farah and get your assignment, you should find Tavral. She wanted to talk to you. She's just up the pathway. Let's just take a moment and give credit to the people that designed this beautiful landscape before we go anywhere. slow pan here. Games are so much more than uh, just running around and clicking things. The environment really makes a big difference. Greetings. Raski said you had something to it tell me. It was good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I was willing to accept my original results, but you saw that I was not at my best that day. My score increased by 12.8% on the second attempt, well within my standard norms. Now I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. Live long and prosper. Your minimap shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the minimap if you are far away from your objective. Peace and long life, I would have said, if I hadn't been interrupted by this pop-up. Yep. There you are. Let me just get rid of this little thing. There you are! Getting excited yet? Once we finish our training cruise, we'll all be full-fledged ensigns. The buzz is, Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. Thanks. Am I allowed to switch this? Yeah, I prefer to leave it on notifications so that you guys don't have to be bombarded with nonsense. Now, I know that the map says to go that way, but I want to go this way. And, oh, 
Now I'm dripping wet. And I want to get a picture. This way. Up, oh, nope. This way. I'm going to use that as the introductory thing for now, and I'll switch it once I've. Once I've uh, gotten started. Good afternoon, cadet. What can I do for you? Is this where I get my training crew's yes, assignment? Yes, I have the complete assignment list here. Name? Let's Me. see. Interesting. Report to Captain Taggart. He's in the office behind me. You're Is going to have to ask him. The direction of your objectives also appears on your compass. Objects you can interact with have a glow around them. Press F to interact with a doorbell to notify Captain Taggart of ah. your presence. Or just push the button that says ring doorbell. Come. Nice carpet. I mean, really. Cadet. You asked I did. Me, sir. I've been following your progress here at the Academy, and I must say, I'm impressed. I'm just looking at your final test scores, but I don't see your results for the advanced phase of training program. This is a training mission. Of course I haven't done it yet, because I had to wait for this. Otherwise I wouldn't have been so dumb. No. Um, I know that program is advised for tactical officers, sir, but I thought I had more time to take it, or many of my classmates didn't take the test either. I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program, and I want to see good results, no exceptions. Did I did. Senior staff? Like I said, I've been following your career here at the Academy. If you complete that program, I can put you on my bridge. I'll ask my tactical officer to set it up. Your tactical officer, sir? Another fine cadet that? like yourself. Her scores were almost as good as yours, but her record has a few blemishes. Still, I'm sure Cadet Flores will settle down and become a fine officer someday. I'll tell Flores to meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the phaser training, and I'll see you when you're finished. You're dismissed, Cadet. Yes, sir. Out I go. Now we're Excuse me. Coming through. There we go. I got the tactical That's officer Lisa. spot. Just what I wanted. Where'd you end up? Captain Taggart says he wants me on the senior staff, but I have to pass advanced phaser training You never first. did that? I thought you were Mr. Extra Credit. Everyone knows that Captain Taggart expects all his top people to pass that program. Now Don't you tell me. worry, you'll do fine. Come on, I'll take you to the holodeck and set it up. Lead the way. Seems most of our class ended up on Captain Taggart's ship. Huh, surprise. I know where you're going, I'm gonna cut you Have off. Have you seen the whales in San Francisco Bay? I never seem to spot them. I sometimes forget that Boothby is a hologram. He seems like such a fixture here at Starfleet Academy. To sprint, tap the shift key while moving. Okay. I'm just enjoying the view. <laughs> I'm looking for the whales, I admit. All right, here we go.
Alas, one of the console buys the first round tonight. <laughs> Setting up the training program now. I hope Holodeck 2 is your lucky Holodeck. Have any advice for me? Shoot I want stuff, to pass don't this. die. Pretty basic, really. What it's standard stuff. The program runs a variation on Mako assault training. Ugh, oh, the Mako. You're setting up the program. Are you making it easy for me? Let's phasers are in the lockers by the holodecks. You can grab one there. Press the Let's go. Key to scan the area. I mean, your tricorder will point you toward your nearest objective. To uh, do all of that, get a pistol. The pistol oh, has been automatically equipped. There it is, little blinky. You have to get a pistol there, but you have to run all the way around the corner. It's nonsense. Two. Move to the center three. of the room. Center of the room. Check me out. In combat, right click on a target to fire your weapon. Two battles. Sorry, Clemens. While in combat, certain actions are disabled. Once you drop out of combat, more detail about ground combat will become available. Exit. Press H to holster and draw your weapon. There we go. Well done, cadets. You're not going to break the Academy record, but your score was more than satisfactory. Thank you, Captain. Do you have an Absolutely. Assignment? I have a new first officer. Congratulations. Yes. Officer, sir. You should be proud of your accomplishments here, Cadet. You have a promising career ahead of you in Starfleet. Thank you, sir, but none of this makes any sense. It wouldn't happen this way normally. Never mind. It will be an honor serving me. First officer, way to go. Just a little jealous, I'll admit. <laughs> At least now you'll get to boss us all around like you've always wanted. I think you should just start reflecting this, sir. It's a lot you'll of pressure. You'll do great. It. But we should head up to the shuttle bay. Everyone else is waiting there for the ceremonial send-off toast. Remember, yes, and I met everybody late. Good night, can also be found on your compass as well as your mini-map. Now hear this. All cadets, report to shuttle bay to prepare for departure. Hold on. I just have to get rid of that bouncy. Terminal okay. to the shuttle bay. Okay, all of the senior staff is waiting by the bar. I'm sure everyone's a bit nervous, this being our first real assignment and all. So, I'm expecting an inspiring speech out of you. Something heartwarming. Make Tavrell cry. This mission could just determine the rest of our careers. No pressure. I'll meet you over there. Lead a toast. May I have everyone's intention. We are the senior staff of the USS Niner. Each and every one of us has trained for the task at hand, and we are ready. I look around this room, and I see fear and uncertainty in your eyes. Being responsible for so many lives is a heavy burden. All I ask is that we support one another. If we can work as a team, we can accomplish our goals. 
to Starfleet Academy to the USS Niner and to her crew. Raise a glass to the class of 2409. Please board your shuttles. chat with anybody. I just want to go to the shuttle. Look at this person jumping around like a nincompoop. Elisa, goodness. Are you ready to head to the ship? Let's go. I already took my picture. I don't need anything else. Let's go. We're finally doing this. Oh, look at that. The USS Vesta, first of her class. She's got subsystem targeting, a crew of 750, auxiliary phaser cannons, and even a quantum field focus controller. I can't wait to captain one someday. But here's our ship. Miranda class, 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft. Average speed, warp, five point nothing. She's a tough little ship, though. I think I like her. We're the final shuttle to arrive. We need to get to the bridge. to check in and then head for the bridge. See you there. All right, you check in. Name and position? Cadet. Mira I have your record right here, officer. sir. Welcome to the ship. Captain Taggart is waiting for you on the bridge. Use the turbo lift behind me. It will take you directly there. Because I don't know anything about turbo lifts, you know, being a Starfleet cadet and all. <laughs> oh. Well, here we are in the turbo lift. When do I get to put on my regular uniform? Welcome to the bridge, number one. Number one. Early in my career, I served with a captain who called his first officer that. I always liked it. As my number one, I expect you to ensure my orders are carried out, and to advise me on the best course of action in any situation. But first, we need to get out of dry dock, get clearance from control, and close the shuttle bay doors, then disable the tractor moorings. Terrell, get clearance from tact traffic control for the Niner to leave. Earth traffic control has cleared us to depart, sir. I clicked too soon. Very good, number one. Flores, send the signal to close the shuttle bay doors. Shuttle bay doors are closed, sir. Very good, number one. Potter, wait for the d wait for me to disable the tractor moorings. Now, where the heck do I do that from? There we go. Thank you. I've got to come back to the captain. Hello. Potter, take us out. One quarter impulse. Captain, may I remind you that Starfleet regulations specifically thrusters only while in the vicinity of a space dock. Just checking to see if you were paying attention, number one. Potter, take us out. Maximum thrusters. To sit, right click on the chair you wish to sit in. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Good. Let's start with something easy. Set course for Vulcan. Course lead in, sir. Engage.
Captain, I am picking up a distress call from the SS Breakeven. Audio only. Let's hear it, Tavrell. This is the Breakeven. Can you hear me? So our work order's failing? We could really use some help here. Let them know we're on our way. Potter, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. Transporter room. Prepare to beam over survivors. Sir, sensors can't read anything in the vicinity of the break-even. Communications are out as well. Keep trying to hail them, Tavrell. Number one, let's discuss the situation. You heard the distress call, number one. What do you think we should do? Is this a test, sir? Part of the training crew? Absolutely not. We're the closest ship to the break-even, so it's our duty to assist. It's strange that the transmission was audio only. A warp core emergency shouldn't affect communication. Good. What do you advise? Uh, we can... I recommend we go to full alert, full power to weapons, and load photon torpedoes. Shields up, sir. Better safe than sorry. We need more information before we get in there. I recommend scanning for an hour to see exactly what the situation is. That's a little excessive. That's a little much, wouldn't you say? There's no justification oh. to go in. Guns blazing. You're probably right, sir, but we should raise shields. I agree. Shields. Flores, raise shields. Number one, get down to the transporter room. You'll oversee the rescue effort from there. I have a little bit of foresight, Captain, and I know that this is Klingon. But, you know, whatever. Excuse me, I'm just caught on the rail. To the transporter deck. What did I tell you? Attack the break even should be in range. Give me an update. I'm getting some weird readings. Uh, I can't get a solid lock. There may be interference. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenarios. Beaming them over now. Klingons! Welcome, Klingons. This vessel is now property of Captain Kadek of the IKS Chart. Barak, come in. What happened? Barak. Stop! Security is reporting disruptive fire in the transporter room, and Klingon transporter signatures are showing up all over the ship. They're boarding us! What can I do to help? You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself, and any security team members you find. What about the enemy ship? We sir? still have weapons. I'll do what I can. For now, I need you to concentrate on getting those Klingons off my ship. Tag it out. Yes, sir. All right. It's a little disconcerting when you show up and there's like space all around you. <laughs> yes, hi, I see you. I need to unlock the doors. You know what, you kind of look like my twin. I mean, you know, just saying. We look a lot alike. Go to the armory <laughs> locker in this room and interact with it to get a better weapon. Get a rifle. Switch. Switch. Switch weapons. No, I want to arm the rifle. Where? Hmm. Oh, equip. There we go. Yes, that one. Okay, I thought you could just drag, drag and drop it. Alright, that's done. Because, of course, you know, they can't, uh... You can switch between two oh. equipped weapons by pressing C.
everything so calmly. You can do extra damage to enemies by flanking them. Try attacking your enemies on their sides or behind them. Stay there, then. All right, down the road we go, Klingons. Bay. Let's go. Come on, people. Move it. Press C to crouch. Crouching is a defensive bonus against ranged attacks, but increases damage from melee attacks. Press X to aim your weapon. Aiming your weapon gives a bonus to damage. Reach the door. Everybody get ready. Standing there all casual like, aren't you? Alright, boost power to the aft phasers. And let's come over here. This is the torpedoes. Nope, four phasers. Good going, Zerath. Just jump all over the place. Can I revive her? Oh, she's okay. Takira jumped up. Hey, you okay? If I click on you, will you jump up? No. Torpedo warheads. Number one, you've got injured up here and the Klingons could send a boarding party at any time. I need you back on the bridge. Go Hi, see sir. to the bridge. We will secure this area. Sure thing. I'm gonna 
need that. Oh, I can't shoot him. Incoming transmission from the Klingons. On the screen. This is Captain Kayak of the IKS Chot. You may have forced my boarding parties off your decks, but our ship remains cloaked. You have no hope of fighting us or defeating us. Your choice is simple. Surrender, or we will kill your captain and then destroy your ship. Never. Perhaps your captain will change your mind. Captain? Order your crew to surrender, Captain, or I will blow them out of the sky! It's your choice, Captain. Do you want these children to die? Very well. Number one. You are now the captain of the ship. Your orders... Your orders are to lock onto my combat and fire! Make me proud. We have target lock, Captain. Fire. Signal. What now? Training cruise is complete, so we're going to stop it here and we'll pick it up in the next episode. Um, these poor people just sitting around. So, can I, can I sit in this chair yet? No. Can't sit in the chair. So we'll stand here and look out. Um, that way. There we go, that way. Alright, uh, we'll start over again in the next episode. Bye-bye!